Uh, Dr. Samani, by the way, you know, he was in Israel last week following up with Israeli patients he's treated and teaching techniques about robotic prostate surgery. Dr. Siegel takes a look. Our own Dr. David Samadi, chief of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital, was back in Israel last week following up with Israeli patients he has treated. You can see the pubic bone over here. A pioneer in robotic prostate surgery, he has traveled to Israel in the past to teach these techniques to other doctors. We got the prostate cancer at, you know, at the last possible second, not minute, before it left the, the cancer left the prostate and went into the whole body. It goes beyond the mechanical part of the robot. We're not robots. We have emotions. As doctors, I feel their pain when they come the first time, and then you see them across the bridge when the cancer is gone. Dr. Samadi is not alone. Up in the north of Israel, doctors are currently providing medical care to wounded Syrians who are supposed to be their enemies. I think there is a little plus to, uh, to look at this patient who was previously your enemy, and you work uh, in a system that is democratic and wise enough to help uh, people in, in harm, uh, regardless who they are and where they are coming from. It is uh, our moral obligation to take them and treat them, and not only treat them uh, uh, by medicine, even to treat the souls. That means to hug them and love them. Back down in Tel Aviv, Dr. Samadi connected with the powerful feelings of his colleagues to the north. In Hebrew, when you save one person's life, you've saved the whole village. Oh, wow, that's absolutely amazing. Wonderful wow. work. Well, this was a very special trip because three years ago when we went in and brought robotic surgery to Israel, it was really a great collaboration with all the scientists and surgeons. This time when I went in and over the last three, four years, we have had over 400 Israeli patients that have come here. We've taken care of them. I have to tell you, it was extremely emotional. Um, a lot of tears, a lot of joys and hugs. People that are cured from prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. The example that we saw, it was a patient who had a Gleason 10, very uh, difficult cancer to and, deal and with. What, it's one of the highest risk prostate cancer that this patient mm -hmm. had and now he's cured and I, I, I just couldn't even get to to bring myself to give the speech but it was a wonderful we're going to collaborate now we have established the biggest prostate cancer support group in Israel I'm very proud of it and I also want to thank everyone that came to the lecture supported everything that we did and on and on this is a very special trip you know one of the things I was thinking as I was watching it and you're getting a little teary-eyed here I know how much both both of you care about your patients. The fact is you didn't just cure that male patient, you cured a family. It's true and it's unfortunate, you know, I uh, <clears throat> get a little emotional about this, but one of my patients for the first time, Jamie, um, uh, passed away about three months ago, 46 year old, <clears throat> and it didn't have to be like this. So any kind of opportunity we get, we should get the word out, get tested, you can save a life. and. Um, and we'll continue the battle. And I, Mark had a lot to do with this. Mm -hmm. So I, I thank told, also Fox News uh, for, for doing this. It, you saved a lot of lives. What should people do? I, uh, uh, you uh, can uh, see the effect that this has uh, on Dr. Samadhi and, and doctors and patients. I think it's a great, great segment for our viewers, and I'll tell you why. David, I've been in his operating room, and he's focused on the surgery. This is the other side. When you meet the patient whose life is saved because that prostate is removed, and hundreds came to see him and to hear him speak, and they were just grateful and that's when he gets to share the emotions and doctoring is about emotions and it's about emotional healing and that's why we put it together with the doctors from the north who are saying these Syrians are injured with high impact injuries their legs are blown off they have shrapnel wounds they have burns they're, we're going to take care of them no matter who they are whether they're our enemy or not because we care because we love what we're doing and that's the high emotion that Dr. Samadi brings to surgery and to let, healing let me just get the word there is no such thing as enemy when you're a doctor I, I want to make it very clear I've been in the hospital in in, at Rambam, Tel Ashomer, many places in Israel. And I've seen an Israeli next to the Arab patient. Sure. As a doctor, when you wear a white coat, everyone is the same. You give 200%. These are very, very powerful. These testimonials is the reason why we wake up every morning and go to work. And it's truly the Hippocratic Oath that Thank you both took. Thank you so Absolutely. much.